Okay, Hip Hop Weekly All Access. This is Brianna, and we're live today with uh, legendary extraordinaire Ecstasy from Houdini, hey, producer hey. extraordinaire James Worthy. What do you do? Awesome. Welcome to Hip Hop Weekly. Thank right. you, thank you. And he's a, a, a great artist, as you're about to see very, very soon. Okay. Uh, and yeah, we working. Yeah, he's really putting it together, but he's quite an accomplished producer. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed at just some of the people and some of the things that some of his music has, has touched. So, I mean, absolutely, yeah, it's absolutely. Been, it's been a journey, I tell you that. Too. <laughs> For real? How do, you, how do you accumulate a billion streams, man, for someone? Wow. How, how did that happen? That's man, incredible. That's, man. that's the new streaming world. Wow. Wow. I didn't come up in that. <laughs> that's that's mind-boggling right there. Yeah. That's okay. crazy. Dope, dope. So I guess let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, you know, this new single you got pushing right now. Talk yeah. about that. Yeah, man. Uh it's called Move. Uh of course featuring X over here. Um shout out to Rob Beats, man. He's really the one that put that together. Like he's my producer. And um, you know, one day he just said, Hey man, you know. I got a uh, ecstasy from Houdini. You know, I'm working on some stuff with him. I think he'll sound good on this record. I said, you know what? That might be interesting because I never would have thought about that. And um, met uh, met you at Rob's house. And um, I think when you were already writing the verse well, when when we initially yeah, met, yeah, because you know we kind of had like a meeting at the yeah. house, and um, he dropped the track with me. And I said, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I listened to it and I, and I liked it. Then it was a couple of days went by and then he came back by with the track and yep, he gave yep. it to me to listen to and because we said well uh, okay I, let me listen to it and i started to fall in love with this track i mean it's just so melodic but the groove is is is, is fresh it's funky you know it's hot and i was like yo well uh let me live with it for a minute and stuff started coming to my yeah, head so i just yeah. said uh yeah, let's do this thing, man. You know, yeah, we just put it together. Came out of retirement to do it. I've been retired for, <laughs> but from the recording side right. of the business, kind of retired from it. But okay. um, heard this track and kind of fell in love with it. I said, had that itch. She gave me that little itch, and so I just wanted to get back into it. And this track was like really the perfect kind of track to kind of do that uh, on and still be myself. You know yeah, what I'm saying? still not trying. And that was to the thing else. too. I wanted him to stay him. You know, I didn't want him to sound like somebody else. I'll try to sound like yeah, somebody you know, else. just keep it authentic. Yeah. Okay, so, so cool. what what makes this track such the perfect track for you? Um, it's melodic. Um, uh, and it, it's there's a new tra trend I think that this track is is, is setting with um has like a Caribbean kind of island kind of feel to the track. Okay. And I thought that was interesting. That was kind of different, especially for uh, uh old school guy like myself. To really be able to uh, get a chance to express myself a little bit on it, just to kind of uh, flex my wings a little bit, and it was kind of fun. So, uh, yeah. kind of gave that's what made it appealing to me that it wasn't just a traditional kind of hip hop track or just a traditional kind of R and B track, but it was kind of a fusion of a couple of, of a of a couple of different types of styles. So I just thought I could lend myself to that, and it would be interesting. But I wanted to do it and not make his track worse by me being on it. I wanted to kind of <laughs> add something to it. If, as long as I could do that, then I was cool with it. So as long as James was happy, he was happy with it. Yeah. I happy. Yeah, I think we got a, a masterpiece in my eyes. I think we got one. Oh. So, I think in urban music, that that island vibe is, is popular right now. But I didn't want to do an island vibe that sounded like what's already done right now. Like I kind of wanted to bring a, a different feel and flavor. So, you know, with this, you get the island vibe, you get the R&B vibe, you get the old school hip hop vibe. So it's kind of like three different worlds at the end of the day, just kind of meshing together. And I just wanted a different sound. So when people hear it, they like... I didn't expect to hear that cadence or that flow with his on top of it. You know what I mean? So I think with that, it caters to his demographic minds, which is a younger audience, and then that in-between balance, too. So it all kind of works. Okay. Right. Um, what, do you, what do you think of today's hip-hop? I mean, hip-hop is hip-hop. It's expression. Um, I try not to be the old-school guy hating on the new-school cats right now because... You know, that's not cool because, you know, I, when I came up, I experienced a lot of that with the, 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 the older crowd not really feeling what we were doing. And so I try to put myself in that position now when I when I think about it. I try not to uh, 
uh, talk bad about it. I, I, I just remember that, you know, I'm a fan of hip hop, first and foremost. So I love hip hop. I love rap music. And so it's just not the kind of rap music that I was making 30 something years ago. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's still freedom of expression. It's still entertaining. It's still rocking the, the uh, 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 funky vibe. So I, I try to stay with it as far as that's concerned. So I'm a fan. I like the direction that it goes. And I just think you can do a lot more with it. And it's still going to go a lot more different places. It's going to take us to uh, other stratospheres. But So I look forward to it. You know what I'm saying? So I enjoy um, music. Who, and who are you listen to now? Well, I was telling uh, a person that um, James is, is, is close to, uh, I was Post Malone. I like okay. Post Malone music okay. right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm really okay. bobbing on this cat right now. And um, and I like the, of course, the Drakes and the, and, the, and, the, and the Nicki Minaj and the Cardi B's. I listen to it all, man, with this uh, Pandora. I, I work out in the morning and I listen to Pandora. So it keeps me up abreast of all the new songs that come out. So, and there's a lot of music that's out there now where, you know, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, we didn't have as many outlets, we didn't have the internet and, and, mm -hmm. and, and social media that you do have now to expose you right. to so much more people. So yeah. it's a different game really right now. So I just try to just, uh, go with the flow, uh, uh, try to listen to uh, what's out there, not try to be so judgmental, just if it makes me dance or makes me nod my head, and I like it. Okay. So, Okay. All right. Um, for me, I think it's, I think we're like in that experimental phase, but like that, that transition to where it's not even like some of the music doesn't even have a genre anymore. Mm -hmm. Like it's just the feelings, it's just the vibes, you know what I mean? Like it's so many like things that mesh together. It's just sonics, you know, like me being a, a technical guy, you know, I, I know what sounds good and what doesn't sound good. And I know what's creative. So, like, for example, like, um, I'm really into Travis Scott. I love his new album, Astroworld. Um, I think it's like one of those albums that transcends what the urban music is now because it has so many different pieces in it. And I've been hearing that from a lot of different artists, too. So I think, you know, it's really dope now. Like, now we're just talking about the, the music and how it sounds. But when you start getting into the lyrical content, that's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But um, I think I think music is is at a good place now. It's very explicit the music now. Before that too. we create music and kind of leave a little bit for the imagination to be for you to interpret. Now it's just pretty much out there. Yeah, um, anything straightforward, you know, sexual, <laughs> everything. So it's different in that way. And earlier when I was talking about a billion streams, mm -hmm. this man right here produced a track uh, by Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son, and uh, that song that he produced has a billion streams wow. over a billion i'm like that wow. is phenomenal so that's what i was talking about because everybody was like what are you talking about yeah talk uh, about man. that tell us about that experience yeah man uh jaden smith is again he's just one of those kids that's just going to transcend music like he's so to me he's so like ahead of his time like he understands melody he understands like core progressions and he knows how to infuse stuff so i met him like years ago in la and um he was at the time he was just one of those those artists who was just trying to get his feet wet and trying to figure out where he wanted to go musically so he would put stuff out there here and there and um nothing really sticked you know he already had a, a good fan base with him being with his father and you know being in movies blah 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 but a lot of people didn't realize he was a great artist. So I was just one of those few people that I was like, you know, this kid has something. So um, I sent him some stuff um, along with this other guy, Omar, that he works with. And um, man, Icon was just one of them tracks that just had just no idea icon, that. Yeah, man. I just had no idea that it would just do anything like it was one of the the tail end tracks Ooh, yeah <laughs> yeah man it was just dope man uh his whole album is phenomenal if you ask me sire is a classic i gotta check it out yeah wow nice just well, a dope congratulations kid. on that yes, sir. thank you thank you okay let's get into the black music honors yeah that was amazing coming up that was amazing <clears throat> Well, we already shot it. We already filmed it. And we did something a little different this time around. So I don't want to let the cat out the bag a little bit, but it was fun. I mean, anytime you can get honored uh, by um, 
your peers and, and, and the industry, um, it's always an honor. And we try to make it as fun as possible. Uh, and you get a chance to kind of rub elbows with the other honorees and with the fans. And you go through that whole red carpet experience and kind of do that and just try to take it all in. You know? yeah. so, right. Uh, my group, Houdini, uh, we don't really get a lot of honors. We had a couple. Few. So, But it's always fun to kind of get back up in there and kind of, you know, experience it um on the ground level you know okay. what i'm saying and okay. uh, so it was great it was fun we got a chance to do a little bit of performing a little bit and, did you perform and, and any yeah. of, the, of the of your yeah yeah we, we oh, did so. and i don't want to let it out the back yet oh, okay. because um but the, it's the way we did it okay. that was yeah, yeah. Different. yeah. <laughs> okay. you so guys will see, see that <laughs> okay because okay? it don't happen like that really so i was happy because it was kind of that moment was kind of unique can you yeah. at least tell me a song? Um, well, you know, when they honor you, they have other people come up and perform your songs. Your music. And you're right. supposed to just enjoy it and exactly. watch it and experience it. But they did something and, a little bit different. and kind of pulled us into it. Okay. You know, so, so we just going to have to tune in. Yeah, just tune in. Okay. It's, it's hot. I mean, <laughs> you know, so they, they really um, surprised us. But at the same time, I was terrified because I wasn't ready for it, but when I saw it start to happen, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you just got to go with the flow. So that's what we did. It was cool. Yeah. And they honored some really, really great artists as well. Uh, Dallas um, Austin. Dallas Austin. Austin, Austin, Austin uh, Stephanie Mills. Stephanie Mills. Uh, Bobby Brown. Faith Evans. Faith Evans. Um, yeah. It was, it was really nice. BB and CC. Yeah. BB and CC whining. So just. Yeah. Just a, a, a fun evening, really. You know what I'm saying? And a great evening for my social media because... I yeah, just, we, we had to get them on there. Like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wait till I start dropping some of that, yo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, just to even see it, you know, for me. And James was it my was just, guest there, so he was there with me. Yeah, okay. yeah, it was it was awesome. You know, and I'm just a huge fan of Houdini. So, you know, just for me to, you know, catch that time for them to be honored like that, you know, it was just really, really a dope experience because, you know, I love y'all. You. you know, y'all y'all inspired me when I came in the game. So, thank you, sir. You know, I, I, that was a really, really great experience. Appreciate that. Yeah. Nice, nice. So, what's next for you individually? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some more features okay. like I did with James. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like touring. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, we'll continue to do that and, and then just kind of enjoy you know, uh, the fruits of our labor that we uh, established years ago. But every now and then, I like to get my foot in the, in the door a little bit and do a little bit of a recording. Uh, you get okay. that little itch after a while. So right. I'm mm -hmm. trying right. to lean toward recording a little bit more. Not so much for, you know, well, for the people who have, who have supported me and my crew all mm -hmm. these years, every now and then they want to hear a little something new. So I, I keep them in mind and we'll do that for them. So when yeah. you record now, like, you know, like you said, sometimes you get that, you know, urge to get into the booth or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, like, are you still going to make like the same type of music that you used to? Or do you, are you going to like take a different approach well, to that's it? That's the hard part because, you know, you, you got really songs know. that, 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 that are kind of like uh, classic. You, you tend to try to want to repeat that gotcha. success and that's hard to do. You know, as an artist, you know, I think you really just got to just kind of, you just got to go with one cut, what comes out in the moment, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? The vibe at the moment and stop trying to catch that same old vibe. I think we got caught up in a little bit of that and it kind of made it, the game not fun anymore again. So we just had to kind of reprogram ourselves and just say, okay, whatever comes out, whatever vibe I get. And that's why James song, the song with James Move mm -hmm. uh, was, was, was so uh, refreshing to me. Um, it, it, it kind of uh, uh, allowed me to kind of step back, step outside the box for a minute and just try something different. And it sounded really great. Not because I'm on it, but the track itself is great. You guys got to hear that track. Y'all got to really Go get it. it. Go you get it. You got to hear it with a sound. So they're really, really nice. Really yeah. happy to be a part of that. What yeah. about you, James? What's next? Uh, for me, um, just uh, finishing my album. Uh, I'm most likely probably going to put that out top of next year, 2019. And um, I'll be touring next year, too, for that album and just pushing a new single move. Um, I have a lot of collaborations that I'm working on, too, for the album. 
and also producing and writing. So I have a ton of records uh, that I produce that's coming out as well, too. So, you know, stay tuned to the social media and the websites and you'll see everything. This dude is busy. I'm telling you, this Can dude you, is busy. Who, who are some of the collabs with? Can you let us know? Yeah. Um, so right now, um, I have uh, Tony Terry on my album. Uh, of course, he's on the album. I have uh, T-Pain on the album. Uh, Raheem Devon uh, just did something for me. Okay. Uh, Selena Johnson will be on the album. On it somewhere, I'm, trying, I'm trying Ooh. to get B. Bozeman. Yo, B. Bozeman, holla at me. <laughs> after, after the award show, he was just making connection. Yeah, after connection, man. I was like, whoa. We got it. We got to get everything done. Um, and also, too, um, if if we could pull this off, uh, Jaden may be on the album, too. Ooh. So uh, I'm, I'm waiting on that, uh, that verse. You, you know what I mean? And also, too, shout out to my boy David Corey, too. A uh, phenomenal artist. He'll be on the album, too. So it's um, I'm not trying to put too many names on it, but, you know, just, just some... You know, uh, great voices on there. You know, that's right. that's just the, the premise of it. Okay. So I'm excited. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to be tuning in to definitely, you know, black music um, honors. Yes. Yeah, it's an yeah, amazing it's show. A, amazing it's show. A different kind of thing. Coming up. Coming up. We're going to remember it. So let Absolutely. us know when, when, when is it air? Well, they haven't really given us an air date yet. Oh, okay. I, I think it's in September, but they haven't really given us an air date. So we just okay, we'll definitely there. keep us posted. I'm sure it'll be like on social media and stuff like definitely, that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Well, give us your social media handles, how you guys could be uh, followed. So reach me on uh, Instagram, official ecstasy. Okay. Twitter, ecstasy. Yeah, you're everywhere now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Facebook, John, ecstasy, Fletcher. Facebook, just holler at me, y'all. Yeah, man, and uh, you can find me on the uh, same platforms at King James Worthy. Uh, pretty easy to find, so uh, follow both of us, yes, please. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with the both. Of thank you for having me. You know, thank you for checking in and speaking with Hip Hop Weekly. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. There's a rumor being spread about me and the proof about something we did not supposed to do. Now you might not have heard it. Or maybe you have, but when I first heard it, all I did was laugh. I used to get angry and all uptight, but you could say what you want to spell my name right. Cause all I meant for guilty of was back in the house. But that's not what that building shit was all about. Now if you like me, then tell all your friends. And if you don't, wait until you see me again. This way, I could hear it from the horse's mouth. And right then and there, we could straighten it out. Cause I don't get involved with that he said, she said So take my advice and quit while you ahead Because one day I might not laugh The day your mouth has to check your behind can't get You got a big mouth right here on Hip Hop With You Ecstasy, Dini, one love Hey what's up y'all, it's your boy James Worthy Remy Ward producer, songwriter, and actor Here with my boy Ecstasy from the legendary Dini And you watching Hip Hop Weekly, ah